I can't contain myself after hearing your words, and I'll be done long before you're done. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy RBG, aka The Random Black Gamer, here with my lovely white channel, Leo, the ones and twos. And this is Wing the Reactions, the place where we react to everything we've never seen. Today, it's time to go ahead and just rip the skin off and just use the skeletal form for some more Overlord. Last time we left off, we found ourselves returning to Carne Village where things were all peaceful until like a horde of fucking gnomes or fucking goblins came out. But it was our girl, Enri, who was basically like, yeah, you know, we had to fortify the village because a lot of mishaps took place and stuff like that. So, yeah, but our pharmacist, Nifery or Nefreo, however you say his damn name, he has the feelings. The way you talking about this, it made me realize, like, I don't even know what the hell is going on anymore. Yeah, the girl that uh, my man Ainz Algon, or Mamon, as he likes to be called when he's around Nefreo and the Swords of Darkness, you know, he gave her the red potion first, and she started telling Nefreo that, yeah, this guy named Ainz Algon gave me this red potion that healed me right up. And Nefreya, you know, he was like, oh, for real? Because we also know of a potion like that. And that's when he was able to deduce that Mamon and this Einzalgon person that um, our girl was talking about are one and the same. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they was able to get that right out the top. And he was like, okay, man, you know, you, you lied to me and stuff like that. But I got a lot of trust in you. You know, you seem to be a very dope person. So it is what it is. Meanwhile, they're about to go to this forest and stuff like that. Go find them herbs and spices for their uh, fried chicken recipe and all the other stuff that uh, my man want to do with his, his spells and stuff. And they realize that it's a wise king of the forest or something like that. And when it comes out, at first it seems like it has these weird kind of mind control abilities and stuff. But when he reveals himself, it's a giant hamster. And it ain't nothing for my man. Ainz Algon to beat up everybody because as my man Caleb Baltimore already said, the guy that's controlling Ainz Algon, he doesn't realize his own strength. He don't know how weak other characters are gonna be and he's able to tame the thing and he names him Hamske. So yeah, they go back to e and they re uh, register the thing from the Adventurers Guild and stuff like that. And all the while, I think they... Uh, the little boy and his little group got kidnapped. All the little soldiers they was traveling with died. The yeah. little girl who killed him also kidnapped the little boy and had him in a see-through nightgown. And we wonder why YouTube was trying to block this show. Yeah, we're, um, we're trying to get past a lot of copyrights and stuff, man. But it's going to be crazy. Like I felt bad for not having a good reaction to the first episode. But after seeing the next episodes and then actually seeing that YouTube was trying to block the show, I don't feel bad at all anymore. This show is very cringe, but we're going to watch it anyway. There you go. So, yeah, uh, I think we're in the graveyard forest where that uh, necromancer sorcerer guy is. Like He has like a whole cult, so we're going to be fighting them. So let's go ahead and see what they talking about with this next episode, which is episode eight, titled, what? What do you mean? Hold on, man. What the fuck are they talking Tyler, about? we should have probably had this set up before we started. I be forgetting that Funimation be on their goofiness, man. They do this every time. Okay, episode um, nine, titled, The Dark Warrior. Let me go ahead and get a number nine. So let's do this, man, for Funimation or my wife. Say something. I'll call you a fool if I like you, little girl. You lent it to your doom and don't realize it. Now you're in the land of the dead, my territory. And so you will join my army. Damn. That look clean. Some good CGI right there. I wasn't expecting him to come out. I wasn't either, man. He just came out of a whole different show. Right? Shit, what are you, a Final Fantasy or something? Now, uh, Dragon's Dogma show. <laughs> it's made out of entirely of bones. Looks like it. Skull Greymon? Murder Claw. Cluck. Cluck, 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 you did cluck. It must be pretty weak if you weren't expecting that. Well, she just clubbed that thing and it went down like it wasn't shit. Yeah, I keep reminding myself that these guys are from a higher rank 
like all these NPCs that were once controlled by players of a high rank. You can't stop me! Shit, he putting all the different right? elements. Right, he said I'm gonna bring out all my thoughts and put them in all my shoes. <laughs> oh, I wish I had that at work. Protection right. from negative people calling me. I think that's kind of like cursed energy, though. Which pretty much immobilizes characters if they get affected. The people who call me in my job, they have a cursed energy. Oh, shoot! Hey. Man, this ain't nothing but an action RPG mode right here. I'm the one this is troublesome for, you bad worm. <clears throat> Why don't you stop hiding behind that dragon? <clears throat> Come on from around the corner and fight. He's not capable. This is my terrified power! Unlimited sour! Oh wow, it's a twin? Twin and them? What did they just say? Forget the battle and start trying to make. Right. That would be hilarious for him. Or they combined to perform the Red Eyes Bone Dragon. Once I kill you and bring death to Erantel, it will be replenished tenfold. Oh. Ooh, all that power. Man, I did love dragons. What you doing? Right. That's why I got these strong calves. Just who in the hell are you? Your mama. How can you have such physical strength without the aid of a martial arts skill? I was created by supreme beings. Even the gods of this world couldn't fathom. <laughs> are you mocking me? I was created by nerds. I wonder if that's what the Sims thing you hear it. Probably. Pathetic world. Why are they coming over there? Skeletal dragons. Correct. You sure know your stuff. Your cute little caster friend is helpless against them since they're immune to magic. I see. She's doomed to fail. Is that right? You catch on quick. I'm curious. Do you have a way to get past the reach of my swords? Maybe. There you go. Take it off. YouTube gonna be like blocked. Right. <laughs> Limited ads. Right. Uh oh. She on a work some twerk some basis right now. All right. It kind of doesn't matter if he gets stabbed though. Yeah. That's a hard shell to crack. Well, no matter. I just thought about that. It's like even if she stabs him. It's not gonna matter. He's a skeletal. Mm. Still, I was hoping I could slice you up, please, by agony. And he's an undead. Oh! Psychotic daintiness. Just stab him in the face. She thought she did. Yeah. Well, I expected if he had his magic abilities, he would have been just like literary ass up. You have my gratitude. I wish I could stay and see what else you have to offer. Sadly, I can't afford to wait any longer. <laughs> I'm afraid playtime has to end. Nice. Huh. Gamma, show them the power of Nazari. Hey, let's go. The swords are off. Kill yourself for death and come at me. <laughs> I will no longer fight you as Nabe. Now you face Narble Gamma of the Pleiades. The Pleiades. Teleportation. Mm. <gasps> <laughs> she vanished. Where did she go? Look up, Molly. Well, you'll find out soon enough. Say cheese. She's even able to cast flying magic. But still, she didn't have time to touch their attack. What's she doing? There are plenty of ways that I can defeat your dragons. I'll show you. Mm. 
Murderous maid. Look on the saber armor. Let's go. Rejoice, human. You remember this, the he was looking at all the different maid servants he had at the oh, first that's episode. What she is. Yeah. Oh. Let's get it. It's time to clean house, bitch. When you gonna realize that them damn skeletal dragons ain't gonna do nothing at all? Oof. <laughs> gonna run my man blood pressure up. You had your teleportation magic so you could kill me when my guard was down. You have a lot to learn about being a caster. Well, have you paid for this lesson with your pathetic life? And monthly payment installments of blood. What kind of magic is that? I call this Twinkle Twinkle Try Little Death. They're both still immune. Nothing you throw at them will matter. Not Shit. Immune. To be more precise, but I just love how oblivious these know, people are. Any spells that are six tier and below. But I'm able to cast even higher tier magic. If you're still having trouble understanding, that means I can beat your pets with ease. <laughs> you are crazy. No one in this world can cast seven tier magic. All my meticulous planning and preparations for tonight. I refuse to believe it would be taken from me by a girl in a maid outfit. <laughs> we'll believe it. You're dead. Believe it. I refuse to die to fan service. Twin maximize magic. Chain dragon lightning. <laughs> Twin dragon. They were twin dragons. <laughs> were. Zippity zap zoop zap zoom. Are you giving up? Girl, you think you should finish up as well. It wouldn't be fair to Nogrum otherwise. Wow! You're one cocky bastard! You don't have a single martial arts skill, and you think you can beat the great lady Clementine? Congrats! Now I'm royally pissed off! Are you going to keep raving or actually? Seriously? Are you going to keep talking and wasting up the animation budget? Or are you going to fight? This is one not attractive female character, I can tell you that. Alright. No matter how much you show off your ass. <laughs> I'm not finished, but... Okay. Mm. You shouldn't be alive. River half. I guess there's no point. Throw right across now. the way. And I'm dead? You're an elder witch. Well, <laughs> you're only partially right. I'm curious. How did you like fighting the sword wheels in Magic Caster? You bastard! <laughs> what the hell? This is why I gave you a handicap. He found a, found a man who's strong enough to handle you. For me to find a mongrel of your level, seriously. <laughs> What's the matter, bitch? Did you not like my answer? Ah! Uh. Tis in the way. Yes, you are beginning. <laughs> All right, let's begin. Well, you know, as long as I was not to feel bad for her, I remember she killed all those people. It would have been poetic justice at its finest. Then again, death by blade, death by broken bones, death by crushing. There's really not much difference, is there? In the end, you die. Stop your squirming. Stop struggling! I like how he's getting all the guild pieces off of her. <laughs> it's like a feral cat. Wow. Yeah, you fighting so hard, you don't knock your own teeth out. Oh, wait. For real. Pop goes to Weez because Weez go pop. <laughs> Backbreaker! Armor Key wins. I forgot to tell you, try as I might, I have a tendency to be hypocritical. 
Annoying gerbil. I do not see what you do in this creature, my lord. He is foolish and unworthy. Yeah, he really hasn't shown much. He has a cute asparagus tail, oh, that's all that matters. We have more important matters to tend to. Take anything valuable or useful from the corpses before the soldiers and other adventurers arrive. Right. Shall we take their bodies to Nazarek for testing? No. We need to hand them over to the authorities so they have someone to blame for all this. We'll just take their equipment this time. As you wish, my master. <sighs> Bruh, <y 'all> be... <laughs> I can easily cure his blindness with healing magic, but as for his mind, the control over it will be tricky to break. This is definitely the source. A little Christmas ornament, really? All appraisal magic item. The crown of wisdom. Interesting. It seems to be an item that can't be replicated in Adrasil. Ideally, I'd like to take him back to Nazarek. But I took this job on good faith. A deliberate failure would dirty the name of Ayn's own dome. Crumble away. Greater break item. Hmm. Yeah, just gotta show the baby booty cheeks. I don't think he's a baby anymore, though. He's a baby? He's not. Oh, he's not. an adult. Master, please. You gotta be sound like these guys with the famous shit. They they sure do. That's exactly what you sound like. Anyway. Let's complete the job. Master! Please don't take my pledge so lightly! Hurt my delicate feelings and die! <laughs> this man has a way with women and animals i see i see even wise kings of the forest yeah but man um i would say rest in peace to clementine but i more so want to say rest in piss in the abyss <laughs> right rest deep in the abyss at the very bottom of it right. if you even can reach the bottom okay you suck and so does your granddad both of y'all suck um yeah yeah, man, um, it looks like the city of Erantel is going to be getting some order, you know what I'm saying? They ain't going to be under any kind of dark, nefarious deeds anytime soon, hopefully, you know, because there's always another baddie over the horizon. Oh, yeah. But, um, yeah, it's like uh, my man Momonga, he was like, I'm going to let you go in and get your shit off, let you talk, let the animators just do whatever they want to do in terms of your suggestive angles and stuff when you get ready to prepare your attack. But at the end of the day, you and Khajiit, both of y'all going to get y'all ass handed to you. Y'all going down. Right. We just take off our weighted clothes like Rock Lee and we showcase our true abilities. It's over for y'all. Because that's what it was. It's like, Khajiit, she was looking like some kind of reserved girl from the east, but she take off that outfit. She got a whole maid outfit on under that and she able to do all the teleporting stuff. That's, that's, that's dope, you know. What I I'm think Khajiit is the old man. I mean, not Khajiit. Uh, what was her name again? I think it started with a, a Adoba or something like that. Narbro. Uh, what was it? Narbro. Narbro. Uh, yeah, that's what the name is. Cause yeah. I, thought, I thought they asked the saying Marbro. I was yeah. like Marbro cigarettes. Yeah, Khajiit. Like Marbro red right. in the box. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. She was able to do that and defeat Khajiit with her. Ooh, I like how they rhyme. Defeat Khajiit. <laughs> Yeah, um, I want to see more of that because right now it just seems like every time we encounter somebody, we just do it with our hand behind our back. <laughs> you know, it's I love that. You know me. I, I might not like very much about this show so far, but I do like that, that they make easy work of people because yeah. I do not like long battles. Okay, finish it. Get rid of it. Done. Complete. Yeah, and this show does a good job of making you hate most of the characters they come across. Which right. So then you're really like, please get, get her rid done. of this bitch, please. <laughs> get it out of here. Anyway, but uh, yeah, man, we're gonna go ahead and keep it moving to see what they're gonna do next. It's gonna, I can't even go to the next episode like I want to on this site. I gotta go back to the menu. This is gonna be episode 10 True Vampire. So I guess they're gonna go back to the fortress or whatever. We're gonna find out. We are, but let's do this. Well, Lady Shao Tu is most certainly going anxious to play her part in all of this. I will let her know that time has finally come. By the way, is Zack performing as we expected? Yes, sir. As we speak, he is meeting with a filthy man in the back alley. 
They are really? planning to attack us somewhere outside the city. And use me for all manner of unspeakable things. I am happy. <laughs> Everything I'm happy to hear it. Right. We on some fucking, like, crime stopper shit. So I'd like to have that man once he's no longer useful. It would be best to ask Lady Shots here first. What do you mean, have her? She's probably gonna eat his ass up with some kind of secret dark ability she got. Why are you so interested in him? He thinks he will get to enjoy a piece of me. So I thought I'd let him have a taste. A little slice of heaven before he sees hell. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy bitch, you. I just want to talk to you. Go afterwards, right? I mean, I am the one who brought. I, mean, I don't care. I don't care how good a woman is. I'm not gonna have a go after anybody. Shit. Like a calm dumpster or something. That's what these niggas be thinking they finna get. This ain't your lucky night, sweetheart. Just go along with it, and we won't take your life, okay? <laughs> oh, you ain't finna take a motherfucking thing for a little girl. So he knows she's a little girl, and he's still gonna try it. Chris Hansen, where are you? Have a seat, sir. Yeah, have a hand, or don't have one. How about that? <laughs> All right, she just flows down delicately. Where's the blood going to? Wow. This is already boring. Do me a favor. Bless you. <laughs> Rape is worst nightmare. This is exactly what these types of people deserve. This way. Ah, no nipples. Thank God, because then it would really get blocked. Bruh, this man is willing to just do this before he dies. <laughs> If you did that to me, and it happened to you one day. Oh, you no. Know. Lady Shouts here. We have found the nest of these humans. There is a man among them called Brain, who is adept at martial arts skills. Apparently, he fought on equal terms with Gazeth, the royal head warrior of this kingdom. I know that name. I believe he's considered the strongest fighter in Riestes. This Brain sounds like the perfect candidate. Indeed, he does. However, Solution and I must part ways with you here, as we have a mission to collect information in the capital for Lord Hines. There's like only party. one thing on your mind, and it's not good. This guy, like, he's gonna be a capable he fighter. Like, I think that's what jets. they're trying to find. Yeah, good swordsman. Brain, thank the gods. Mm -hmm. We're being attacked. Yeah, that much is obvious. How many? He got his collar all right. popped up and such. There's two of them, both women. Tawing up a Hollister shirt. Mm -hmm. I'll handle this one. Head back. Fortify our inner defense. <laughs> really? A vampire, huh? Great. This will be fun. Very fun. <laughs> Thought you were all by yourself, sir. If I were you, I would call the rest of your friends. Then you might have a chance. Could I eat you in blood scout cookies? Right. Style anyway. Not in our brave. Bitch, what I look like, Lady Demetrius? It's my turn. Hmm. You didn't have to throw the girl my back. My name like is it. Brain Unglaps. What a name. Unglaps. And you are. Oh, so that's what we're doing. How utterly adorable. My name is Shaltier Bloodfallen. Bloodfallen. I hope you will entertain me well before you perish. Bruh. She thinks she's unbeatable. Typical monster. But she won't be faster than my god flash strike. Alright. Thank you all some erotic kisses shit. Feet. The god flash strike, that's what he said. <laughs> you gotta charge up, you already died. Better have some light attacks to fight her. I take it you finished with your preparations. Damn. <laughs> then let the massacre begin. It's like you luckily I'm treating this as a turn-based game. Whistling wind. <laughs> get that whistling Dixie shit out of here. 
<laughs> how? There's no way. I think you just realized how futile this is. I may be a petite and beautiful little monster, but I'm also cold, cruel, and ruthless. <laughs> this looks like a really uh, lolly if version of Dracula from try Monster that. High. Maybe. What's the matter? Was that all of the martial arts you know? Martial arts? Is that what you think I was doing? Yeah. We think you trunks from Dragon Ball Z. No, I will say at least he's trying it. He is. He's not as confident as he was. Is she fighting him with a nail? Yep. Are you tired already? <laughs> I thought you'd have more stamina than this. Well, I'm glad you did. As cool as you look, you're still a generic NPC, sir. I thought you used martial arts to increase your strength and speed. But I don't notice any difference. Mm. You're just as weak as you were before we started. <laughs> if you want to make a good impression, you, sir, are going to have to work a lot harder than that. Oh. <laughs> He's going delusional. There is still hope for you. The fact that you know martial arts means you might be as minor as to my beloved master. <laughs> I am such an idiot. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, all y'all look like generic NPC characters. <laughs> Bruh, y'all better run. This is not the person you want to be following behind. The hell? The hell? That's what happened to him? Wow, so she's going to be unhinged now. Now we're done with the tag. Let's play hide and seek. So that's what she really looked like. Yeah. A vampire! Fire at will! I don't think so, Van Helsing. No! Sure, I don't think Lord Irons wants you looking like that. Woo! Oh, well, maybe in the bedroom. Sucking them dry. She impaled my nigga or cut his torso off. Probably little both. Damn. Who needs alimony so that can just literally suck all your blood? Please escape me! I shall to you. I'm sorry for intruding, but there are humans heading this way. Oh god. Come on, y'all. I feel bad for these people. As I thought, a vampire! If you, your blades were silver, you don't look at Ain't it the girl? We must fight to who? escape! The girl who took the potion. Um, I think In that so. guild room. The red potion. Yeah. Man, she got one of the most cheapest powers. Girl, give up. <laughs> Not up, doll. Oh, shit. Not for you, Miss Finster. Where did you get that potion? It's so crazy that she just turns back into this. Look in my eyes. Where did you get this potion? A man clad in black armor gave it to me at one of the inns in E. Rantel. Could she have been given orders by the Supreme One? No. He was probably making connections. What were you and your party doing out here? It was for a job. We were hired to find a group of soldiers turned mercenaries. 
when we sensed that something was off, we split up. Mm. Split mm-hmm. up? Mm-hmm. There are more? Yes, ma'am. Then, the scream I heard was... Ugh. I'm such a fool! Come, children! Find every last human in this forest and devour them! Hey! Dark wolves. He will. My children were defeated that easily. By who? <laughs> Bitch, on your ass. What if it's Lord Eyes himself? I don't know. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that nigga also clean over, so you know he with that shit. <laughs> Bitch, I'm sanctified. Yeah, she probably finna get clapped. I actually wouldn't care if that character got clapped. <laughs> I find her quite annoying. Woo! Animated stuff they shit up this wow. I'm afraid I must report that Shaltier Bloodfallen has betrayed us. Master Source Open. Mercy. This is why you believe Shaltier betrayed Nazarek? After we lost contact with her, I checked the master source. You know she does. She don't even like Shaltier anyway, so. The vampire brides that accompanied her have both. She perished. probably exaggerating. Is there a chance Shaltier has died as well? If that were the case, her name would disappear from the list. If something like this can happen to the NPCs, I need to find out what it is and how to counter it. Or Nazarek will crumble. <sighs> If she betrayed us because she is displeased with me, or our treatment of her, I would understand. Displeased? If she truly thinks that after you've been so merciful to us, I won't allow her to live! Please Bitch, calm down, calm shit! Remember, my old comrades created all of your personalities. They made you with all of their hearts. That includes the And for perverted reasons as well. Good. You were made exactly as they wanted you. And I love all of you for that. So, if Shaltier has indeed betrayed me, she is simply following the path that Pepper Why do you say that? Uh, <laughs> he loves me. He loves me. He loves me. Hey, Pepper, what you loves listening? Loves I said all of you. Yes, I know. How you be acting when I tell you that? I wonder why you said I should act like that. Well, yes, oh, you'll be hearing that. That's what I be saying. Yeah, so she didn't kill over a hundred men and she's just standing in the middle of the field now. Don't do it, damn it. So confused with what her original plan was. I thought I knew it, but I apparently I do not. Right. Well, I guess because um, the what's her name? Like after he, like she saw that she gave that girl that elixir or whatever, that red potion. But it could be more to Those that. Those people that had on the full armor use something on her. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? It's like she just jumping out there, going against the grain right now. Yeah, I'm not quite sure, but. Because that was like a flashback when they showed all the stuff leading back into that part right there. It seems. Yeah, she sure did look uh, pretty crazy though. And her powers are something else. I don't even know. I don't even know what to think about the character anymore. Yeah. Um, she overpowered as fuck though. She can absorb the blood while she fighting people and then use that to bring out her true form. And turn into weapons and such. Right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, um, True I guess I'll give this episode an A plus. Why not? A plus, yeah. Yeah, I'm giving this an A plus as well. It's like these characters are just so mysterious, and you just wonder what makes them tick. And once again, if their loyalty is going to come into question, which seems to be the case for uh, Shao Tira here, you know, it's like there's something at play that's making her go against. Aiden Zal Goon's commands or whatever. So that's going to be interesting seeing what exactly it is that caused her to do all these different things, you know? Because at first it seems like, yeah, she was just trying to recruit a person that specializes in martial arts for Aiden Zal Goon, you know what I'm saying? But now it's like 
something else at play. So, uh, yeah, um, so far, so good for me. I know Johnny, she's a little iffy on certain aspects of the show and stuff like that. You know, they could stop the cringe and the... I I love it because, like, once again, I'm familiar with this type of um, gameplay style, this genre of gaming and stuff like that. And plus, Madhouse is really just killing it with some of these fight sequences and stuff. Like, that part where my girl Child Church just goes crazy on all these different knights and light magic users look very good, you know? It looks good. It looks good. It looks fine. I mean, it's not just like my favorite, but it looks fine. Uh, All the girls be having a Grinch face when they (laughs) something bad happens to them or they don't like what's going on. They be acting like they ain't got no teeth in their mouth. Right? (laughs) Like, you know, they be looking crazy, but it is what it is. You got a lot going on here. But yeah. Yeah. But that's going to do it for us today, guys. If there's anything we may have missed or gotten missing screwed, by all means, provide the proper context in the comment section below. You know what I'm saying? I know my boy, uh, Caleb Baltimore is because he always lay a uh, big info dump on us. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, he going to lace us up with some knowledge. But if there's anything else that you guys want to add in terms of what you liked or disliked about this episode, what took you, what, what was the episode that really just had you guys really invested? You know what I'm saying? Let us know all about that stuff too. But this is your boy RBG, aka The Random Black Gamer, my lovely white Jenna Lee on the ones and twos. We ain't seen the reactions. We'll catch you guys in the next reaction too. Overlord. Peace.